Hey guys, welcome to another video from the Reaper blog. In this video, I want to talk about the thing that I always forget when I'm setting up a new project. That is setting up my project markers. There are a few really good reasons for using project markers, and we'll get into those after I set up my markers. I've already started mixing this song. I've got about an hour and a half into it. I realized that I haven't set up my project markers. So as you're looking at this, it's hard to tell which is the verse, which is a chorus. There's no quick way to instantly jump to it. As you can see here, these drums start on this grid line, but I don't see the actual bar number until I zoom in. All right, so I'm going to use the action in the action list, insert and edit marker at current position. I'm using option control M for that. OK, so I already have a marker at the start of the song where my render will start. But I'm going to put a marker here. Let's go into uh, Snap to Grid. So I'm going to click here and then press my shortcut. And I'll call this the verse. I'll call this verse 1. All right, and I'll go here. I know this is where the chorus starts. So drop in another marker. The end of this. Verse 2. There's another chorus here. Here, there is a bridge. And, and that's the outro. And then the end of the song where the reverb tails out. Now, this project instantly looks more organized. I know where the chorus is. I know the next verse is. And I can use keyboard shortcuts to jump between them. So I use the square brackets on the keyboard to go between the next marker or time selection ends. Okay, And I'll show you those actions. That is go to previous marker or project start, and go to next marker or project end. And if you have a control surface, you may have buttons to jump between markers as well. Yeah, just being able to jump quickly between the different parts at a moment's notice is great. You don't have to zoom in to find the exact spot. And it really only takes a moment to set up your entire project. Once we have our markers set up, we can double click to make a time selection. Then within that time selection, we can do some really easy automation. I have this track on trim read mode. I'm going to show the volume envelope. And I can simply click this and go up or down within time selection. So this is one of those project management things that I always forget to do. And it is so helpful further down in the project. Try not to forget to set up your project markers. It's really, really helpful. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And visit reaperblog.net for a lot more.